Hi, today we're going to be learning how to record with Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. Now the first things you need is some way to get the video, the live video, to your computer. What we're using is a Grass Valley ADVC55. Uh, this box right now we're bringing it in just composite and then bringing it in uh, DV into the computer through a Firewire. The computer we're using is an Optiplex 380 Dell running Windows 7 Professional. Before you start streaming live, it's also very important to make sure that you have enough bandwidth at the location you're planning on streaming from. Just go to netbroadcasting.tv, just and click on the bandwidth test, and then click to start and see what your internet speed is. The important number is your upload speed, because it's you sending the stream to the internet. And as you can see here, we have an upload speed of 1.65 megabits per second which would allow us to upload actually high definition video. You need to have downloaded the program Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder 3.2 to get started. So we bring up our live encoder, go ahead and maximize it, and we take a look and we see that our video is made it to the screen right here in the center. We're watching C-SPAN. Easiest way to do this is to start with one of their normal settings. Now we want to do H.264 streaming so it'll work for iPhones and iPads, Macs, PCs and everything. Let's start with a nice high bandwidth one. Now as you see on the screen, look at how funny the video looks. That's because it has the wrong input size. We are bringing it in DV so it's 720 by 480. Oh that's much better. 29.97 is the normal frame rate. H.264 is what we're looking for in terms of our video codec. A much more normal bitrate instead of uh, four, 640 is something like 450. That's a very normal bitrate to have. On the audio side, we're using MP3 for audio. It has the highest compatibility. We're going with stereo, which is very important if it's going to work on an iPhone or an iPad. 44.1 kilohertz is also very important if it's going to work on an iPhone or an iPad. Our bit rate is 128 kilobits. That's for very good high quality sound. This is where we'll stream to a flash media server. You'll get this address from your streaming media provider. This is the address that we have been given to publish our live stream to and our application name is live. Now down here is where you put the name of your live stream. The default is live stream. Most people miss that. Today we're just going to call our stream live. So right now I'm going to go ahead and connect to the server and make sure it connects. Very good. Now all I have to do is hit this button and we are streaming. So let's go out on the web and take a look. As you can see we are now live on the internet there. We've also loaded the stream address into our iPad and as you can see our iPad is now streaming it right off this encode. And that's all there is to it.